Good morning. 11.30 Central Daylight Time brings us again to Bible study. Oh, I love being with you. Um, it is a gift to be in your midst. We're going to wait for some folks to get here. We're going to wait for folks to get on Facebook um, here on this 20th day. Questions and or comments, you can post them in uh, on either Facebook or My HQ. Um, we prefer you to try myhq.irsn.org. Uh, it's accounts free, uh, and you can you can stick with Bible study there. But uh, we'll wait another thirty seconds or so. afternoon. Huh. Yeah, there was an REM song quoted in the sermon. It's the end of the world as we as we know it. All right. So we already know that Jesus was healed, right? A large, gr a large group of soldiers came out to see him. Probably a, uh, not probably. The, the word that, um, that that John uses is a Greek word, which consists of anywhere between, which is a tis of a legion. Um, a legion is six thousand soldiers. So a tis of a legion is um, six hundred soldiers. I used to teach that this was a hundred soldiers. Either way, it's um, um, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of soldiers. So those those soldiers come with swords and shoot with swords and clubs and the like, um, and 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 the plan is to take Jesus. Now he says, uh, "Whom do you seek?" He goes out and greets them because he knows who he is and what's going on. So he knows who he is. He knows what's going to happen, and he still goes out to meet them. God goes out to meet sinners, and and you get the um, yeah. A few of the links on my HQ seem to be broken right now, Bobby Joe. That's probably we're just trying. To, that's probably trying to get used to the the difference between the fireside chat and then the the, the regular chat. So when he, uh, they ask whom do you, he asked whom do you seek? They say Jesus of Nazareth. He, at that point, Judas is standing with them. It's important. Judas is standing with them, and he says, "I am." And they all fall down. They step back and they fall down, and they step back and they fall down because because God's invoked His name, and before God, and His name. Sinners can't stand. And so sinners are trying to, to seize God, and God invokes his name. They all fall down. They fall down. But they, you know, they get knocked down, but they get up again. So they pick themselves back up again, and they go to seize Jesus. Again, and he tries to, to like, if you're seeking me, then let my, let my apostles go. This fulfills the world, the word spoken by the prophets, um, of those who gave me, I have lost none. Peter, Simon Peter. Uh, 
Um, Peter. He's on patrol, you see. Peter, Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it. And he, 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 he struck the, the high priest servant and cut off his right ear. And the name of the servant was Malchus. Now, um, this is imp important. Malchus is from the Hebrew word king. Um, this is this is really important, and the reason why this is really important is because um, a couple of things. Why why is it important that they that his name is mentioned? What's what's the significance of that? Well, he's an actual person. Um, he's an actual person. He's not. This is not a fictional account. They could go and ask Malchus, tell me about your ear, dude. Um, and um, so they could actually, you could actually go and ask Malchus, dude, you know, and you, they, the, the community may have known Malchus and this may be, you know, sort of widespread. Um, the other thing is, um, in another gospel, Jesus heals Malchus's ear. Um, but that doesn't stop them from, from, from seizing him. They're dead set. They're dead set. Get it? They're dead set. Bale, uh, throw your sword back into its sheath. Shall I not drink? From the cup, which my, shall I not drink the cup which my father has given me? And the implication here is, I'm here to do a job, and that job is to die for sinners. Hi, Donna. The Lord be with you. Um, that job is to die for sinners. Are you gonna? We're not going to fight our way out of this. This is going to happen. So put your sword back in it. It's you. Swords power will not overcome the problem between God and man. It won't. The only fix between God and sinners is the suffering and death of Jesus. It's the only fix. It's the only fix. We can't fight our way out. We can't fix it with, with fighting, and nor should we. You can't. Um, it's merely a flesh wound. Um, this is important, too. Just, we're not going to, 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 to use force to fix the problem. If you're looking for a religion where force is used to spread it, um, then the Christian um, heresy, uh, Islam, So, um, so the band of soldiers, um, and their, their tribune and the officers of the Jews, they arrested him, Jesus, and they bound him. So the one who is, I am. We have now seized and we have tied him up. We have tied God up. 
that if you're scoring at home, we have now bound God. I, I, I would I would just like to sit down and have a conversation with God. Well, either two things are going to happen. Either you're going to um, either you're going to die from the the power and majesty of Almighty God, or you're going to try to kill God. And they led him to Annas, for he was the fire of the law of Caiaphas, who was the high priest that year. Now, this is kind of odd, except it's very real. Um, um, and, th and, and this is important to sort of take note. Caiaphas is the high priest. I'm sorry, I, I don't know where my my uh, cups are. They're in a box. And so I have to keep washing the LSU one and using it over and over again. I cannot wait to be drinking from a different cup other than this one. Uh, but um, this is very, very sort of... Um, This is very, very, um, I, I, want, I, want, I, want, I want to take a moment here and, and sort of point this out. This is very real. If this account was made up, they would have taken him right to Caiaphas. Annas is, is not the high priest. He's not. He, would do, he, was, dispo, he, would depo, he was deposed by the Roman governor. And that sort of tells you who's in charge. Pilate's in charge. And so, um, the, the Roman governor. I don't know if Pilate was the one that did it. But they take him to the, to the, to the old high priest. And the father-in-law of Caiaphas tells you who's actually still the big deal. And we've all experienced this in life where there is a person who's holding an office, but the other per the former per person who held the office is a big deal. The high priest emeritus still got a lot of pull. I think he's the one that's still running the show. But that's just my personal opinion. There has been um, some things done in the wrong in the name of Christianity. I say this deliberately as it was not all in the name of Christ. Um, yeah, yeah, the Christian church has done some awful things. Um, theft, don um, violence, lying, stealing. Um, someday we'll talk about the Crusades and the necessity of them. I don't think that, um, I think Christianity gets a bad rap for the Crusades. And they're not in any way, shape or form perfect. Um, but um, the alternative was uh, we'd all be Muslim. Um, if it wasn't for the Crusades, we'd all be Muslim. Um, now, were they all righteous? No. But um, don't don't buy all the hype um, that that the Crusades were all evil. The Muslim horde were were going to conquer everything. Everything. Um, and the and the and the and the Christians going and and sort of. Um, trying to check them, it's kind of important. But some of the things they did in that was was not good. Um, but that doesn't change the, the necessity of the thing itself. Even in the time of Luther, there was still the Muslim problem. The Turks were coming. Um, and, and that's an issue in the Reformation as well. But again, so, but here, right now, Annas, not the guy. But adds to the account, the believability of the account, the, 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 the certainty of the account, because um, it's not expected. And in life, unexpected things happen. Simon. 
Simon Peter followed Jesus, and you'd expect him to. I will follow you to prison and to death. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot 14. It was Caiaphas who had sum boule u sauce. That's, um, that's, uh, uh, that's, uh, that's uh, to consult who had plotted. Um, that's like to want together. Um, had advised the Jews that is, it was, um, expedient, that it was better. It was to their advantage that one man should die for the people. So remember um, that uh, this occurred a few chapters ago that Caiaphas took them aside and was like, you don't get it. Dog's asleep. You don't get it. This Jesus is wrecking everything. Um, the Romans are going to wreck everything because of him. And um, we're going to lose our station. So it's, it, it's advisable that one man should die for the people. Now he's talking about Jesus dying so that they can keep their position. But what his actual words mean, isn't it ironic? Don't you think? Um, a little too ironic. Um, it's like rain on your wedding day. Um, He means one thing, but he prophesies, even though he's, um, even though he's the high priest, but even though there is a greater high priest, he's still in the office of high priest. And he, so he can't help but tell what God wishes him to tell. And so he prophesies that, um, that, uh, um, that, One man should die for the people. That's pretty cool. All right. Simon Peter followed him and another disciple. So the alos mathetes is, um, is John. Since that disciple was known by the high priest, um, he entered with Jesus into the courtyard of the high priest. So uh, John... He's going to have a back si backstage pass to everything that happens. Um, so John's going to have a backstage pass. Peter... He stood outside the door. And so the other disciple, who was known to the high priest, he went out. Um, and said to the to the door guard, basically. And they let Peter in. So um uh Thor's underneath the uh, the blanket, evidently uh, uh, texting. I don't, I don't want you to miss this, though, because this is so wonderful. Um, and, and so very um, real. Peter can't get into the courtyard. John, John gets him in. No money is exchanged. This is not like, you know, you can't get into the club and you slip the guy a guy a guy a twenty and you get into the club. This is this I mean, what else there's is there to do on a Thursday night in in Jerusalem than than a trial? I mean, this is exciting. 
Okay, so um, what happens next is rather interesting. Um, I've never sort of considered this, but um, and so Peter, a servant girl, a pie disque, a servant girl, um, at the door said to Peter, um, I like this translation. You also are not one of this man's disciples, are you? So it's a negative question. Um, you know, um, aren't you one of his disciples? And that one said, uk a me. Now we learned, um, ego a me as in I am, um, Uk a me is I'm not. It's Greek lesson here on on Friday. And so the servant girl uh, uh, now uh, 18. So it's the uh, who does he deny his Lord to? Who does he deny his Lord to? Does he deny his Lord to the, um, to the, to the big guard? Does he deny his Lord to, to soldiers? Does he deny his Lord to somebody impressive? No. No, he does not. Who does he deny his Lord to? To a servant. But more than that, he denies his Lord to a little girl. The next time you go to church and, you know, everybody's there, I want you to look over and find a 11 or 12 year old girl and and what 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 you, what what you want to think with that 11 or 12 year old girl is is um that's the age of the girl that Peter could not confess his lord to it's not the big guard now, he's probably afraid of the big guard. He's probably afraid of the scene. But a little girl. Peter's first denial is to a little girl. Just a little girl. Nobody asked John what's going on. That's interesting. I've always found that. I actually, I, I just found that interesting. So the servants know John, and so they must know John's a disciple. You're with him. You must be a disciple too. Nope. Ook, Amy. Nope. I'm not. That's one denial. Uh, now the servants and the officers had made a fire. Um, I think that's a charcoal fire. Yeah. Yeah. Um, look at them wrecking the environment. No, I'm just kidding. Because it was cold. And they were standing, warming themselves. Peter also was with them, standing and warming himself. Oops.
Hmm. I don't think we're going to get through the next section, but we'll start it. The high priest then began to interrogate Jesus about his disciples and his teaching. The advice of making you talk. Verse 20. I have spoken openly in the universe to the world. Very emphatic. Ego. Ego. This is a very emphatic. Jesus is very emphatic. I have spoken openly in the world or to the world. I always taught in the synagogue and in the temple where all the Jews congregate. I've done nothing in crypto. Nothing I've done is encrypted. Nothing I've done has been in, in secret. Why do you ask me? Ask those who've heard what I've said. They know what I've said. There's the little, those little ones here, and they're and they're doing a little Latin. Homeschoolers. And when he said these things, one of the officers. Um, standing by gave him that's what the word says a slap across the face it struck him Is that how you answer the high priest? What what did he do? What did he do? He said, look, why are you asking me what I taught? I taught openly. You know, um, I think it's interesting that, um, I think it's really, really interesting. What you have here is, is a, um, a sort of, very clear moment where Jesus sounds confused, but he's not. Everything is overdone. Everything is over the top. And that, that's very clear. Soldiers with, 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 with weapons, a, a large number of them, an excessive number of them, whether it's 100 or 600, it was an excessive amount of force. And, and the interrogation and the trial are all happening very fast. And so he, he sort of asks for a clarification. Why do you need to know what I taught? I taught openly. I didn't hide anything. Nothing was encrypted. Oh, they're learning Latin. Sum es, es, sum es, 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 which is great because, you know, I have to use my Latin because that was my degree from LSU. But everything is just moving so fast. The, 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 the study Bible also sort of notes that, that, that the striking of a witness or the striking this early in, in the, in the proceedings is, is against the law. The, 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 the Jesus should be able to ask questions without being struck. And this is so ramped up and so full of hate and so wrong that he simply asks, why are you asking me questions about this? I, I, I taught everywhere openly. I didn't hide what I was doing. I'm not hidden anything. And they struck him. And that's not, that's not good. And so Jesus says, if what I've done is kakos, if what I've done is bad or evil, matu resun peri tu kaku. 
testify, bring witnesses concerning the evil. But if what I said is kalos, is beautiful, is right, why did you strike me? And so Annas um, Apostelen uh, apostles him, sends him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. This isn't even, we haven't even made it to trial yet. We're still at, uh, I, I, I spaced out for a second. We're still at Annas's house. And he's already been beaten on. Already been beaten on. All right, so here's the plan for next week. First things first, you're going to go to higherthings.org slash giving. And you're going to give today. A tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps the work that we're doing. The greatest youth organization known to mankind. Um, that seems ra- rather arrogant, but a gift to our children. Um, keeps us doing these things and able to do these things. Um And so if you appreciate it, give. Uh, Next week, we're Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday for Bible study. I will do all three. Um, The dean usually does Fridays, but um, I don't think we'll do uh, Black Friday, but we will be back the following week. Um, And so Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we'll be back together again um, for Bible study. Uh, So... um, Have a blessed day, a blessed weekend. The last Sunday of the church year, the Sunday of the fulfillment, wise and foolish virgins. Um, What a great, what a great, great, great text that is. What a great text. Five wise, five morons. Um, But it's always the last Sunday in the church year is always the wise and foolish virgins. Be watchful, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Um, So next week, 1030, I'm sorry, 11.30, same, hi, Linda Kimmel, didn't see you there, same uh, HT time, same HT channel, and I'll try to be better rested. I had, ooh, just a, every now and again, I suffer from, it's not every now and again, but I suffer from insomnia, and I had a bad bout of it last night. So if I look rough, it's because I am rough, but uh, not rough, but rough. All right, have a great day. I'll see you in a hop, skip, and a jump on Monday.